Have you ever seen water disappear in front of your eyes? It's crazy. Building blocks, no matter how long you stare at them, never disappear. So why does water? So many questions. Hmm. Well, when water is heated either by the sun or other ways, it evaporates turning from liquid to gas, also called water vapour. This process of evaporation is part of the water cycle. Water is never really gone. It is continuously recycled from the earth to the atmosphere and back again. Evaporation is mostly invisible, but sometimes we can see it as steam from a hot shower or a kettle. Let's do an experiment taking a closer look at evaporation. For this you'll need two glass jars, one lid or aluminium foil, a marker, blue food colouring and some water. And remember, safety first. Before you start, ask an adult to help. Fill two jars with water and make sure you have equal amounts of water, so it's a fair test. Add drops of blue food colouring. Mark each jar so you can observe and measure changes over time. Place the lid on one jar and put both on a sunny windowsill. If you leave them for long enough, what do you think will happen? Will the water in both jars stay the same or change? What's your prediction? Each day observe and mark the water level changes. Use a ruler to measure and compare changes over time. What's happening in our jars? The jar without a lid has less water. Where's the water gone? It seems to have disappeared, but did it really? Water is made up of squillions of water molecules. When heated, they don't like to be close together. As the sun heats the water, they move apart and rise into the atmosphere as a gas called water vapour. This is called evaporation, leaving less water in the jar. But what's happened to the water in the covered jar? It was in the sun too, so why didn't the water level drop? The covered jar has a lid preventing the rising water vapour from escaping. When the vapour cools, the molecules stick together forming water droplets at the top of the jar. This is called condensation. When they form heavier drops, they fall back into the water. This is called precipitation or rain. Water is recycled round and round, never leaving the jar. Did you get the same results? Why or why not? Another way to explore evaporation is after it rains, draw a chalk line around a puddle in the sun and a puddle in the shade. Observe, measure and compare the rate of evaporation. Did one evaporate quicker than the other? No water molecules were harmed in the making of this video. They've been doing this for billions of years. There's a lot to learn about water, so visit sydneywater.com.au forward slash education.